So Sona, my final question for you is, we know that finding a job, it's a full-time job. It might take three months, six months, or it might take, I don't know, two or three weeks. It all depends case by case. But during that time, we previously talked about there will be a lot of rejection. You'll go for an interview, you'll not get accepted, or you'll go to a networking event, then nothing will happen. But you need to do all these activities just to get momentum or to be part of the community because you're new in a country. Uh, so what tips you have from your experience, what can they do to keep the moment or keep get out of the bed and apply or go to these events? Mm. It's it's not easy. Huh? Um, and I've definitely, like so many people, faced my share of rejections. You know, when it, it, it really hurts when you were so sure. Yeah. It's the perfect fit. Yeah. And both sides were giving signals. Mm -hmm. And and they were definitely giving you buying signals. And sometimes the response is not even um, a proper response. It's just an automated. Oh, yeah. that, that adds the salt to the wound, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to say two things. And they're very... Uh, so earlier I talked about, you know, um, it's hard, but what is the alternative? So remember that, right? Yeah. Help It'll help you to move. And there are two practical things I'm going to share. The mm -hmm. first one I learned from two podcast guests of mine. And both, uh, one was a faculty at Harvard Business School. The other one, sorry, a staff member at Harvard Business School. The other one was a student, uh, an MBA student at Harvard Business School back in the 1980s. So both had applied, one to study and one to work. Both got rejected. And so the response was from them. I'm really disappointed. I really wanted this, but I understand you need to find the best person for the job. And I wish you lots of luck in finding that person. This entire process has been such a pleasure. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And forgot about it. Both the cases, three weeks later, they got back. They're like, oh, their top choice dropped out. Wasn't a fit. Mm -hmm. Are you still available? And they were like, yes. <laughs> So, and I was like, why did they do that? Like, they asked both the employers, what made you call me back? They said, your note and your kindness mm -hmm. and how graceful you were in the face of rejection. Yeah. So never underestimate. Am I saying that you send that thank you note and you say, hey, you, you send what I just said. Does it mean it's going to work out? Yeah. It doesn't matter. You close the door but do it nicely right and and yeah. don't because 99 percent of the time what do we do when we get a rejection we ignore it yeah what a pity what a pity don't do that don't break uh, don't, uh, don't uh, break a bridge you never know don't exactly never burn bridges and it's not even burning bridges you're not even here you're not even looking back at the bridge right? yeah. i'm saying look back just for a minute and then move on yeah and you never know who comes yeah who calls the the second thing i'm going to say is when it comes to rejection, and this is something I've learned recently, you know, so like you, Meher, as well, because you you do some coaching, um, I'm running a, a proper business. It's just me. Mm -hmm. So what is my life? What is the lifeblood in my business? It's people. It's clients. Yeah. They are the people who, they are the, the reason I have food on the table and my kids go to school. Yeah. So one thing I've learned, because I work with um. A business coach to help me because I don't know this stuff. Yeah, yeah. She said the best because you know what in our line of work you get rejected a lot. Yeah, a lot. You speak people with 20, 30 people. You. Maybe two or three will hire your. No, exactly. Uh, people want to work with me. They will schedule a discovery call. Out of ten people who schedule the discovery call, two will not show up. Mm. Out of two who show up, maybe five will say, "I love it, but it's not right for me right now." It is part of the life. It's yeah. not easy, especially yeah. if you have spent a lot of time. I've spent an hour with them. Then we had a follow-up message and then it's another follow-up call yeah. and it doesn't work. So yeah. the best thing she told me that I can do is have more calls mm -hmm. with with others. So have more leads. Yeah. Have more leads. So if you're getting rejected, Continue. So the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, the bottom of the funnel, right? Treat it as if this is your marketing campaign. Yeah. And everything I learned from her, I teach it to my clients as well, because you're selling. This yeah. is 
people who say this is not sell. Everybody's selling. Everybody's selling you're something. Selling you're selling yourself. You're selling your service. You're looking for a job. You're selling a point of view. Yes. You're selling your talent. Um, in my case, I'm selling a program. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So the top of the funnel people they find you, middle of the funnel, bottom of the. Funnel. So if they find you LinkedIn for the first time, top of the funnel, middle of the funnel they want to call you. Yeah. Bottom of the funnel, uh, interview you. So how can you ensure that you are feeding more people in the top of the funnel? Which means you're meeting more people, you are commenting more on LinkedIn because that's increasing your visibility. Yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of creating content. I used to create a lot of content over years and years. I'm not sure it was the best use of my time. And I don't know if it's the best use of time for someone who's looking for a job. But a comment strategy is much more effective than a content strategy. Yeah. Focus on, if you want to be an influencer, it's different. But I don't think that's your target audience right now. Yeah. Comment strategy is more, I'm interested in Microsoft, Google. And this particular manager, he posts regularly. I've noticed he posts every Tuesday and Friday. Hmm, that seems to be the cadence. And when he posts something, I want to be one of the first people and I want to say something valuable yeah. and juicy and not thank you for posting. And you know, yeah. no, no empty yeah. comments. Yeah. Uh, these are things that help top of the funnel. So you continue to work on getting more eyes on everything you're selling. Your this is your shop. Yeah. Um, for me, that's the only way mm -hmm. to stay sane and law and not lose your marbles. Yeah. Yeah. I because totally, it's easy. It's yeah, easy I, to fall into the yeah. oh my God, how many people unsubscribe from yeah. a newsletter this week? Oh, it's very easy to low yeah. go there. Instead, focus on how can I talk to more people who need my services? Yeah. That I, makes sense. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I tell the students or the clients I'm helping, identify, I don't know, 10 to 20 companies that you want to work and then follow them on LinkedIn, and then engage with their content. Maybe find a new hire or someone in the same job title that you want and engage with them, you know, comment with them and then networking and then go for a meeting and go from there. And then I feel that that way you're building relationship, which comes back to our first uh, video, which is making friends. And that's what we want. At the end of the day, when we are working, we're spending half of our time with coworkers. They become our friends. And we need to get along with those people and go from there. Exactly. And with that, my interview comes to an end. So now I really enjoyed the conversation. Very practical tips. So for the audience, if you haven't watched the previous video, please check them out. And if you have any questions, you can reach to us. We're more than happy to help you or give you direction. So Sonal, thank you very much. Let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone.